and today I am going to be reviewing the Pink Ranger Kimberly Ninjetti figure um, from um, originally from the MMPR movie, but it was also that in the show. Um, I do have two of these figures, but one of them is a uh, cat. But the one I'm reviewing first is Kimberly. So I'll give you a quick turn around of the box. So in the front window there you see Kimberly with all her accessories. Coming round to the side at the moment is the uh, side of her face and with the Mighty Morphin logo and as you'll see on the back in a minute you'll get a good shot of the figure doing a pose with the accessory which goes on her foot this time um, and then coming round to the other side you get to see the other side of her face and um, now what I will say is these figures may not be available now because they have been out about a year if you're lucky you may find them still but I think it's unlikely unless you go on eBay but watch for the prices on there because they can be major steep yeah so watch for the prices on there because they can be major steep um, so yeah let's uh, get her out and have a look so here she is out of the box looking absolutely fantastic uh, and she's wearing her masked up face with which looks fantastic um, again they've absolutely nailed these um, and the details on the suits are amazing like diamonds on the arm cuffs and the uh, boots are amazing and as you can see from the back she's very well done on the back as well because um, I know there has been some QC issues with some of these and um, that means quality control, by the way, guys. Um, but, um, yeah, she's absolutely fantastic. I love her. Now, it's funny, because... When people... first asked for these, Hasbro said... We're not sure if we're going to make them, so watch this space. But I think Hasbro knew they were going to make them the whole time. They just didn't want to tell you. But the colour pink is fantastic. Obviously, it's slight. It's a slightly different pink to what's on the show, but it works and it works really well and these are the kind, these are the suits you saw in the movie as well but they've just been branded under different names for the TV show um, which I thought is quite clever of them to do actually and as she's coming around now, you can probably see the 
power forward on her chest, which is the pink brain uh, ninja lord, um, which uh, looks absolutely fantastic. And um, yeah, I highly recommend these figures if you can find them. Um, sorry guys which you may not be able to find them like I said anyway let's have a look at her with the civilian head on so here she is with her civilian head on which looks like her but not exactly like her but then again, it's hard to do that on a uh, head for a figure. Um, but yeah, it's it's a uh, pretty close resemblance of her. So yeah, it has for her done a good job. Um, and these are actually a lot better than the original 1995 ones. And because the 95 ones didn't look like them at all and you couldn't change their heads over on the 95 ones. So he was stuck with a figure like this. So the 95 ones were good for the time but these ones you're getting now are just amazing. Um, but yeah, the detail on the suit, the detail on her head uh, is great. And I love, and it's more prominent on her, I think, I love the little headband. And I think it's more prominent on her, to me. Um, I don't know why, but it seems more prominent on her to me. And she also, which I forgot to point out before, she has the white belt on as well. Like all the other figures apart from Tommy. Tommy has a black one on. Um, but yeah, I love her. And also one of the things I really love is the pinless bodies. It makes them look a lot better. In some cases, in some cases when you're posing them, it makes the uh, uh, ball joints look a bit weird. But still nice to finally have pinless bodies. So yeah. I love her. The civilian head looks okay. Like I said, not exactly like her, but so let's um, move on to the accessories. So I'm now onto the accessories, um, which I'm going to start with the effects piece. What I will say is they all have the same amount of accessories um because I thought Kimberly had less but after looking at the other figures that she doesn't so this is the effects piece um in the nice iridescent colour again um and this uh, actually goes on her foot um, for when she's done doing a kick. <laughs> if I turn it round and hold it like that, you may be able to see the hole that her foot slips into. Now, the it's not an issue, but the thing I find weird with having these kind of effect pieces with the ninjetti figures is they never had these kind of effects on the, the film or in the show 
So when they did the kicks, it was just normal kicks, nothing like this. Um, so it's a bit weird that they give it an effects, them an effects piece. But to be fair, every single lightning protection figure comes with an effect piece. So that's why I think they've probably done it. So it, the continuity of the figures can carry on. Jeez, that's a big word for me, guys. So I'm going to show you now the other head that she has. Um, there's two pieces to it, and I'll show you them individually. If I can get a hold of the head, that is. So this is her mask up. Um, fully face masked up where all you can see is her eyes um, and some of her hair which again looks fantastic and weirdly with her masked up it looks more like her but then that's because she can't see the rest of her face um, so yeah I really like some of these heads I mean some of them are a bit off but some of them are okay um, and that's where it goes on that's the kind of hole for the ball joint and what I will say is before I pick up the next bit, is uh, getting these civilian heads, or getting these heads on and off the lightning protection figures is a pain. When you're changing these heads, just be careful when you're doing that, because I, I dislocated my shoulder or my arm really badly, but I actually screamed. I mum came back in, helped me pop my shoulder back in and I had a bruise from the bottom of here going up to my elbow and I had that for about four or five weeks. But anyway, so this is the other um, bit that goes on with the head. Um, this actually goes on before the head and then the head goes over this. I want to call this, I don't know really, but it's kind of a scarf slash neck piece, um, which looks again fantastic on these fingers. But what I will say is you have to put these on first before you put the hair on, obviously, because that's pretty obvious, actually, that these hide the ball joint, which, trust me, you don't want an ugly-ass ball joint on the show. Um, but anyway, onto the hands. So the hands are, you get a hand for Amy Joe or Kimberly, I should say, uh, not Amy Joe. that's pink and it has, well, it's a really nice color of pink actually. It matches the suit really well party top style of hand which again looks absolutely phenomenal for these figures sorry guys more phenomenal after watching once and always I had to put that in um, and normally as you guys know, 
um, I would hate the kind of karate chops that I'll hands because you normally get them with every single finger but because they're ninjas it kind of works so uh, I can forgive them for as very given them the cross and jump hands for these fingers but because they're ninjas so it works so that's the end of this review. Thanks for watching.